All right, so we're going to try to go back to back 3 0. And so far, we're off to a very good start. So we open uh, Bantu. We could wheel Angrath's Rampage, maybe aid the Fallen from this pack. But yeah, really, really happy to open that. Now we get past the Raska, which is really good. Yeah, easy Rask over anything else. So I think Taskmaster is the pick over Mobilize District. Although I think it's quite close. I like two threes for two in this format. They shut down some of the some of the early stuff, so happy taking it. So here it's an easy Toll of the Invasion <clears throat> over Polymphide Druid and Mana Geode. And I guess Teo. Teo's not that bad, but for the most part, Teo's worthless, I think. So now, Aid the Fallen or Lawroom Enforcer. I think I need to take a Lawroom Enforcer. I can also take a Centaur Nurturer. All right, I'll take a Lawroom Enforcer. Okay, another Tone of the Invasion. I'll play two of these, no problem. Yeah, there's really nothing else in here. Uh, okay, Warsh Creature is fine. So looking more like um, a black-white deck. Okay, so now it's Spark Reaper or Aid the Fallen. I think Spark Reaper is slightly better. And we get an Aid the Fallen anyway. Perfect. I really undervalued this card initially, but being able to draw like a Planeswalker and the best creature that died. It's very, for two mana, it's pretty strong in this format. And there's been plenty of times when you win with this and Ashiok, bring Ashiok back from your graveyard, mill for the last, like, you know, four to eight cards. So most relevant card, I guess, is a Bulwark Giant. It could work in this deck, I'll take it. It's not to be underestimated. It blocks a lot of the big green stuff and gains your life to, you know, help you Sad creatures to find Bantu. I think Opportunist is most relevant. Lynx is a good pickup, I guess. It's not really a good card in the black white deck, but if we get some plus one plus one counters or, or maybe like two Pegasus Corsairs then it becomes much better. All right, Storm the Citadel, last pick. That's about where I am with this card also, it's quite bad. Now, if this gave Trample, that would be a different story, but no trample. Last big bean out. <laughs> okay, so we open Jace Wielder of Secrets and then we also open a really good removal spell in our colors. I think we just need to take Prison Realm here. I love Jace Wielder of Secrets. You can mill for two, draw a card, but it's not always a game winning card. And Prison Realm, it's in the colors we're playing and I'm happy taking it, it's just good value. Obnix versus Cruelty. Cruel Celebrant is quite bad. Probably I don't need a second one of these and I'll have enough playables, most likely. Like if I open Jace, pack one, pick one, of course I'm taking him over virtually anything else. Wow, there's a Ral. Oh, I don't think I can pass Ral. But there's also a Trusted Pegasus in here. 
Oh, God. Ugh. I think we take Trust Pegasus and we'll Rally of Wings. That's the right play. It's not the most pleasant play I'd love to take. Uh, uh, Ral, it's very powerful, but it's not what we want. Can't rise tap reverse, perfect. I don't think I want to share the extract from this deck. Well, if we took Jace, we could take a Gleaming Overseer, but I'm happy with the D-Spark as well. Uh, let's see, Mizium Tank. It's a cute card. Top of the statue or second worst creature. I think I want my first top of the statue. Yep, I'll play two these parks. Who knows, we might get a bunch of trees. I mean, if you get four of these and you get the apparition, they're playable. Outside of that, not really. So Cruel Celebrant or Mana Geode. I guess Cruel Celebrant is okay with God Eternal Bond too, but I'd rather just take a Mana Geode. Okay, so we did get the Rally of Wings. For now, it's going to our sideboard, but again, with Sahili Silverwing, if I get a bunch of more, if I get a bunch more flyers, then we can play it. Defiant Strike is kind of a cool combo with Dread, Dreadhorde Arcanist and uh, Feather, but outside of that, it's not good. All right, so going into the last pack here. Elder Spell is our rare. Got another Ashiok. Ashiok's the best card. I mean, this is the type of deck with removal and Aid the Fallen. Yeah, Ashiok is perfect. Another Prison Realm. All right, this deck just officially became like really good. <laughs> Bulwark Giant, Mana Geode, Silver Wing. We really don't need to play this stuff. Like, if we want to play Rally of Wings, we could play Sahili Silver Wing. But I would want some more flyers to do that. Otherwise, it's not really justified. Okay, I think I like Ugin's Conjurant with Aid the Fallen. You play this early, you bring it back later in the game. It's like a 10 10. It's better than uh, Bolas' set at all. I also would mind one Wonder Strike for like uh, Raska, Ashiok. I guess that's about it. <laughs> um, I'll ask and he shall receive. So there's our Wonder Strike. I guess it also works with Ugin's Conjurant, but it can get you like an extra, uh, an extra snake off Raska, for example, which is not not the worst. So let's see. I think Tithe Bear is fine over Iron Bully. There will be matchups where we want one of these guys. Another Spark Reaper or Herald of the Dread Horde? I think we want Herald. I could probably sideboard out one D Spark to start. And Lynx is not that good in our deck. Rally of Wings is also not happening, so maybe we could like. Uh, I might keep a second of these park if I take out Railway Wings. Let's see what else we get past.
let's take, uh, let's see. Wow, that was Shriek Driver, Diver, two Morse creatures. I kind of do want to play around your wings. Uh, we could probably cut Giant. Another Rally of Wings. I don't think we need two. I think that's too much. Yeah, Rally of Wings is just going to win us some games uh, out of nowhere. I guess we can cut an opportunist. And... Wow, this is tough. Five flyers, uh, six, six flyers with Street Diver. So here's how I count. I go one, two, three, four, <coughs> five, and really it's like six. I guess trust the Pegasus can carry something over the top. Maybe we just cut the giant. All right, let's see. Uh, I like 10 7. We have double black for Bond 2 and Ashiok. Okay, let's try like this. You know, the other thing we can do is we, can, we don't have to play 17 lands in this deck. We could like kind of swap and play another Total of Invasion. I don't really have a menacing play. We could play a Vampire Opportunist, actually. Yeah, I think this is fine. I mean, it's just such a low curve. And Prison, prison Realms will help us get to our lands. All right, let's try like this. I actually like this, because if, if we can't finish it with the Flyers off Rally of Wings, you know, some mana, I think we can get them down to two off a couple of attacks in the air, and a big hit off Rally of Wings. Okay. So the invasion is good. I think I'm going to play Trusted Pegasus next turn, though. More likely than not. Yeah, with Rally of Wings on my deck, uh, you know, this is representing an extra four points of damage already. So it is a legitimate win column when you have like, uh, you know, five or six flyers in your deck, and we have quite a bit. Okay, turn over. Well, can't attack, so I guess the most man efficient play is to go Herald. And then hopefully we get a land next turn 
to Wonder Strike Ogre. Dance again for six. Okay. Need the full one. Well. Let's go to the vision now and see what we're dealing with. Angrath and Divine Arrow. I guess we could let him keep Divine Arrow. I don't want Angrath on the battlefield. And let's stack with Harold. Okay. So I'd rather he use the Divine Arrow on Harold, which gives me a 3 3 to block with and attack with, actually. Okay, perfect. So now we wonder strike over. Zombie army becomes a 4 4. And this is seven in the air. And then next time we can go Spark Reaper, Taskmaster, and get back Herald. Okay. Manage you, it's fine. Yeah, so Rally of Wings would actually give me lethal next turn. I think I don't change anything. Let's just run it back with this. It was pretty straightforward. Ouch, we're going to have to mull this. Okay, this is good. Land on top. Nice. Perfect. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm willing to mull to six. If I'm, if I'm guaranteed three lands and a Bantu, it seems good to me. Actually, Blue has a good way of dealing with Bantu using Tilt of the Lost because often people will sack like two or three lands and go down to like uh, three or, you know, three or four lands. Uh, and when you put them on top, your opponent just can't recast them. And it, you know, if he gets mana screwed, then he's just sitting there doing nothing. So we're off to a good start for a back-to-back 3-0. -back see what this is. Okay. I think I just want to play Spark Reaper. Hopefully we can top deck a land, but Prison Realm is also good. I, I mean, I could just Prison Realm. You know what, I'm gonna Prison Realm because I wanna to scry to my lands as soon as possible. And I'm not really getting full value by taking an on-crop invader. Let's bottom that. But the sooner I can get Bantu down, the Greater the probability that uh, I'm going to win. Yeah, I'll attack. I'll offer the trade. Feather, okay. Well, let's prison on that as well. Okay, that stays on top. And pass. Next turn, I think I'm going to do Spark Reaper and uh, Enforcer. Land and Geode, okay. Uh, 
Okay, logic type reaper is fine. So let's go spark reaper, moisture, and hopefully we'll find our land now. Okay. So we'll look at invasion. Let's see what their last card is. Oh, or Helion. Yeah, let's let's get that out of there. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he wouldn't have been able to cast it next turn, but it's good to know because I'm bringing in my uh, what do you call it? Oh, God, top of the statue. Three mana trade for eight, and you tap a four, four power on the board. That's pretty good. All right, so let's just go Bantu. I guess we could attack first. Let's attack. And let's draw three. So I'm going to sack a swamp of planes. Uh, you know what? He's at zero cards. I'm just going to make a more mana efficient play. Or, or not, not the mana efficient, but just like the better play. I feel like the difference between getting Bantu down one turn or another doesn't really matter. But if I can cash in a Spark Reaper when he's going to die anyway. Because any extra card I draw is uh, just fodder for Bantu anyway. Okay, so let's play land. Bantu. And let's refill our hand. So let's go, we could probably sack three lands and the army. So we're gonna draw four. So pretty pretty much game over from here. I don't I don't see how our opponent can win. Sure. So I just, I don't see how our opponent can win given that I have removal and, you know, three playables in my hand versus, he could, he could be sitting on the line right now. I'm guessing he has removal for the Eternal. Otherwise we're gonna get Spark Reaver back. You know what? I don't even need to do this. I'd rather have a blocker.
Yeah, I'm, a, I'm kind of behind on life. I'm at 15. There, there could be some crazy term progressions here that uh, can really get me. So I'd rather just maintain a high life total. And this shuts down Lazatap Reaver. Okay. So far, winning. Sweet. So no need to play Ugin's Conjuring because of 1-1. One, one. I guess I could have, but I just, I don't know. Be better to just have it up uh, as, a, as an option for a 3-3. Three, three. Uh-oh, green-white. Okay. All right, let's see what you got. No problem. If that's what you want to use your turn on, by all means. Because very soon, Bonte can just block that, so I don't mind. Let's take uh, so Lazatep Reaver, and I guess I should attack. We don't have good blocks anyway, and I like uh, I like keeping up these park here. Ah, okay, well, not going to be a complete blowout, but still. All right, let's go on to... All right, let's sack. Let's stall the evasion. This could really disrupt their plan. Let's see what they have. Plain white celebration. Okay, let's take that out. We could have the Rhino. Um, I think I'm still keeping everything back. I just don't see a need to attack. Interesting, doesn't play the Rhino. That is uh, probably not the most optimal play. Uh, we can attack. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Still not playing the Saratok. I guess he's waiting for like a big, big turn. Uh, 
So we can attack with this and get back against Conjurant. That seems good. So let's stack with Taskmaster and Screecher. Get back Conjurant. And let's play, I guess, Long Live Enforcer and pass. So our opponent might make the suicide attack now. It just really doesn't seem good to do it. He could, he could do some damage to me, but he's at zero cards and my hand is packed. Yeah, it's like a last ditch attempt. So I'm throwing everything uh, in terms of blockers. My goal here is just to minimize damage. So let's go. Yep, I'm happy with this. Okay. So land would be nice. All right, so now I can go Herald and keep up the spark. And I think I'm just gonna hang back. I don't need to attack. Let's kill the Ceratoc. So that gets uh, so that gets exiled. Okay, let's see what opponent does. Okay. So does he have like a pump effect? Uh -huh. All right, let's just uh, mix up this cruelty then. Should be game. Yep. Okay, any changes, Spade Hound. I don't want bow or joint instead of spark reaper. Okay. Not good to play six drop with uh, 16 lands, but again, double prison realm will let me uh, kind of scry. So. 
I'll scribe twice is almost like drawing a card. I'm not saying you want to have them back, back to back every time, but you can get away with 60 lands and uh, two prison realms. All right, hopefully I'm not gonna to have to eat my own words here and get stuck on two lands. Okay. Nice. Can't play anything, but still. I'm very happy with that. It's taking some damage. All right, let's uh, take the links. I don't think I need any more lands, so let's bottom that. All right, so we can play Raska here and then proliferate with Wonder Stripe to make sure we get two uh, Death Touchers. That's probably the best play. So let's go Raska. I have to make sure to block Prismite because uh, Wrangler has Trample. Of course, if he plays a four power creature, I'll still block Wrangler just to get the bigger creature off the board. Let's see. Well, Raska dies anyway now. Unless he puts the counter on Prismite. All right, let's see who's attacking who. Raska and me. Oh no, they're both attacking Raska. All right, I'll still block uh, the Wrangler. Sure. So Silverwing can block the Prismite, even with the plus one, plus one counter. So let's play that out. Planes on top. So this also kind of pushes him. Oh, interesting, okay. It's possible he's trying to splash something. Like let's say he wants to get a hit in with Wrangler and then... Uh, okay, that is scary. That's a lot of damage, so I go to six. I think I need to jump. I need to find another prison realm, otherwise I'm dead. 
or I need to, I was going to say draw land for Bulwark Giant, that lets me live a little bit. Rally of Wings, I'm not going to do it. So I could block and play like Rally of Wings. I'm actually going to block here because this way Pegasus survives. Uh, land? Land? No, not land. So I can go. This guy and a Shriek Diver comes into play tapped. Yuck. All right, that's enough. These parts pretty bad. The best card for us could just be like a bouncing lens. Okay, trades of the three twos. And it's cheaper, so. Okay. I could have mulliganed this, actually. I don't even have double black for Raska. So I'm kind of relying on drawing our early stuff. Planes was about the worst thing we could have drawn. Okay, by the discipline. Let's make sure I don't play a three drop. Or giant. Well, if I can't block, I might as well attack. Yeah, this might be a quick one. This might be a quick one.
Well, we can kill the lynx here, and if we get a if we get a swamp, we can stop Boom Oak. In fact, I think I'm just gonna chunk. I don't want to take five. Prison Realm's also good. Let's take the links. So Swamp on top. Bantu. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to bottom Bantu. Bantu does nothing for us. We need is a good old land, a bulwark giant. There it is. They really need a swamp. Sure. That doesn't kill it though. Worst creature. Okay. Mm, that's so so fine. I'm gonna keep poor creature back. If he has removal, I want to make sure I have a block for the links. Well, now I can definitely attack with both of these. And I could probably attack with this zombie army. Okay. Okay, so Bloom Hole can become a 6 6. I could just chum that. That's not a problem. If he has a land, even better. So these things bounce off each other. I'm not sure what he was doing. Maybe he was thinking that he can proliferate Bloom Hulk. I'm not, I'm not sure. So Rally of Wings is only in the graveyard. It can't win as a game. If we had it in our hand, uh, it would be game over. Otherwise, let's see how much damage we can do here. Taskmaster comes into play tapped. So I have six mana, so I can go, let's see, three. Uh, let's do the math, three and four. Yeah, so this is lethal. So you go attack, attack, attack. Jeremy gets flying. And
Okay. Got there. So on to the finals again. Very close to back-to-back three and oh. Always nice when that happens. It doesn't happen that often, but uh, you know, when that happens, there's a challenge to go for like a three three and in a row, which is even rare and so on. So I think I had a run where I had three back to back in the in the previous set, but it's been a while since I've had three back to back three knows. Okay, this is a good opening hand. All right, let's see what seven cards our opponent has. And I always take a print screen because I'm not going to remember seven cards. Okay, let's see. On Crop Invader, Mayhem Devil, two Raskus finishers. So I probably just want to take one of the Raskus finishers because it doesn't have a mountain. That makes sense. And let's get in. So I guess a mayhem double. Yep. Okay. So we know he has a ra another Raskus finisher, which means that Mayhem Devil gets in unblocked. Unless I want to throw a Pegasus and a zombie army in front of it, I really don't. I'd rather, uh, I'm in a good position because I can race in the air and I can tap down whatever the biggest creature is with Law Room Enforcer, so. Of course, Bonsu would probably be the best draw for us. Okay, that's fine. No blocks. Well, rally of wings could be good at some point. Oh boy, does he have another land for a Raskus finisher? He does not. So we can actually get him pretty, pretty good here. Yeah, it was probably incorrect to play on Crop Invader. So the best blocks are like Worst Creature on Devil and Pegasus on the Zombie. Because this way he can't sack the Zombie to deal extra damage to the Pegasus. Okay, that was easy. So, anything we want to change? Hmm. 
No, I think we're good. Yep, this is fine. All right, we need to find a prison realm for Cranko. A land, rather, for a prison realm. Perfect. Land on top. Oh, let's bottom that. And right, we'll attack. <laughs> Let's play Contrant. Okay, so we can display that. Okay. Okay. So I do want Lance uh, so that I can get to Wonder Strike at some point. So let's go Taskmaster, Worst Creature. And then getting back over this conjurant is going to be really good. In the meantime, we are taking a bunch of damage, so it's not a great spot to be in. Oh, actually, no attacks. Wow, okay. Um, let's get in with War Creature. And play Silver Wing. One away from a back to back three now. Mountain, okay. So cycles of uh, one blast. Another Grim Initiate. Okay, I see no reason to use Wanderer's Strike, so let's just get in with our Flyers and play Herald. I kind of want to clear the path for Eternal Taskmaster. So I will attack with the Herald here. 
Also, it makes wonder strength better. Okay, so safe to say, I think we got this. Okay, all right, that was pretty easy. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Back to back to the note. See you next time.